Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do an over the air update in the brand new 2024 Kia EV9. I have in front of me here a land all wheel drive with GT line package and Aurora Black. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, I was driving my EV9 and when I went to go turn off the vehicle, there was a message that popped up on our infotainment screen that told me that there was an update available. I didn't have the time at the moment to install the update. It said it was gonna be about seven minutes. So I hit later to do it later. And now this is later. <laughs> so we can go into setup over here on the right hand side. Then I went and swiped the screen to the left and went to general. And then you'll see that we're under software update or swap, ugh, software info slash update. And right now it says update, there are ongoing updates preparing to install the vehicle system software. From what I've experienced with this so far is that it's preparing itself to do the update. Now I'm not too sure how long this is specifically going to take. I can speed it up if it's gonna take a minute or two. I'll continue recording in the meantime, but um, it's just preparing itself. Okay, so that only took like a minute or two, so I skipped ahead to this. So now it says update, there are ongoing updates, ready to install the vehicle system software. So what I did was I had turned the car off, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And then it pops up here saying the vehicle system update is ready. Press the update now button to proceed with the update. Vehicle cannot be used during the update. Total update time, about seven minutes. For more information on the vehicle system update, press the details button. So if I go ahead and select details, this is what it's telling me that this update will do. So again, total time, seven minutes. And then it says it's a campaign for over the air software, ICCU update. This OTA update provides the following improvements to support a better driving experience. Counteracts with an interruption in auxiliary battery charging and unintended display of warning lights. So I would love to go ahead and update that. So I'm going to hit start update before I hit later. And then it just took a moment to prepare. So if you went for a really short drive, it may not pop up again and ask you if you want to do the update just because like the installer for it wasn't ready. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start update and I am going to oh, follow all the instructions here. This is my first time doing it. So the update will start soon. It's got a countdown. Vehicle must be turned off and the following conditions must be maintained to proceed with the update. So we have to make sure we're in park. We are, parking brake is on, which I believe it is. I'm gonna make sure of that. It is now, exterior lights are off. Yes, they are, and the hood is closed. So I'm all ready for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit update now. And I'm going to record the whole thing, but again, I might just speed it up and we'll just let this do its thing. So we'll continue to run in the background even if the screen is turned off. After the update, I'll receive a notification on my Kia Connect mobile app. So technically we can turn it off and walk away, but I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna see this whole process uh, play through. So the screen's turned off, so I'm just sitting here and it's doing its update. Okay, I just got a notification on my phone that said, congratulations, the update it, uh, is uh, done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car. Let's see if we get a confirmation in here. Okay, and just like that, so, oh, there we go. So, new software, uh, software version 24.4.1. And again, we can look at the details here and you can scan the QR code and bring it up. But this is exactly what it said. So it told us that the, the system update um, was there and the Kia Connect app told us that it was completed. So this is the first time I've done an over the air update in this with the new CCNC and 
that was pretty painless. I mean, it took only a couple minutes, so not too bad. And now this is just a screenshot on the left of the notification I got from Kia Connect saying that the software update has been completed, congratulating me. And then on the right, when you use your phone and you open your camera and scan the QR code and go to the link, it's gonna bring you to the page that tells you the software version and what the update uh, was that was completed. And I guess that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys.